Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my 24 and my 24 and 5 day update. Because it was the Thanksgiving holiday on Monday, my doctor couldn't see me until Tuesday, and today is Wednesday and I'm filming this video. So, I have my my phone here with my list of things I've been uh, kind of keeping up with for the week. Um, for the week, for the last four weeks. Let's get right into this. I have still been symptomless. Like I'm not having morning sickness. Thankfully, I'm not having too much any, any normal pregnancy symptoms. Um, the baby is kicking like crazy. All the time, uh, all day. I can feel it on the outside a lot. I'm feeling it a lot um, higher up now. It used to be very low, like by my um, pelvic area. Now it's kind of spor sporadic everywhere. Like I'm feeling it in the side. Something very exciting in the last four weeks is Sam and my mom have both felt the baby kicking, which is always really fun because I can feel him all the time. He's going like crazy when I Wake up in the morning, he's kicking. When I lie down at night, he's kicking. But it's so much fun to be able to share that with other people. Lauren, unfortunately, can't sit long enough to actually feel anything. And sometimes the kicks are a couple of seconds apart or even minutes apart. Um, so she has not yet felt the baby kick. That's okay. We will get there. Um, we are still currently thinking about names. We've narrowed it down to a couple. It's very difficult for a boy, I find. With Lauren, I knew right away. Right when they told me it was a girl, I knew almost immediately that that's the name I wanted. I loved that name from the very beginning. Having more of a difficulty finding a boy name. So yesterday I had my 24 week doctor's appointment and it went quickly. It was, uh, I had to go to a later appointment because I had to work. Usually on a Monday I go for an early appointment, so I'm waiting there for a really long time, but thankfully I was in and out in probably 15 or 20 minutes. Um, some cool things that happened in this appointment was that I lost about six ounces, which is weird, but I guess your weight fluctuates a lot. I was gained six pounds in my, at my last appointment, so four weeks ago I had gained six pounds. Now I'm down about six ounces from that weight which is fine because I'm sure I will put it back on later. We have also booked my glucose test for the 21st of October. From, I don't know if I mentioned this in my last one, that the doctor was kind of concerned about a heartbeat when she checked with the monitor. That was 100% fine this time. She did check a, uh, for a good time. She found it in seconds. Usually, you know, when they're smaller, it takes a little time. You're chasing them around and Sometimes you can't get the heartbeat right away. She got it within seconds and it was a strong, great heartbeat. So that's fantastic. I was a little nervous about that. Not like, I was trying not to worry about it, but it was always weighing in the back of my mind, but everything is good. Perfect. Oh, she measured my belly. Uh, she didn't necessarily tell me whether I was measuring um, for the amount of weeks. Like she didn't, usually I think it's 24 inches if you're 24 weeks, but I, maybe I'm not there yet. Like I haven't caught up with size yet. I feel like I've gotten much bigger since my last update. I'll have to compare the two pictures when, after this video goes up. I am noticing um, my belly is getting sore. I think I'm trying to push myself a little bit too hard, not realizing that I'm, you know, in my second trimester and I should really start slowing down a little bit. Lauren, it's still in her crib, so having to lift her in and out of there is becoming more difficult. But you have to do it, and most of the time it's fine. It's just on Thanksgiving, we did a huge clean of the house. Like, we took all the cushions off the couch, we did like a big rug clean, we did everything, and that night my belly was sore. Like, I was feeling tight and kind of really sore. So I just know to take it a little bit more easy. I know you guys can't notice right now because I obviously have makeup on. Not that I'm any kind of... <laughs> Anyways, I have rosacea and I've noticed it was never really an issue until I got pregnant. And with only with this second pregnancy, I really get it like a lot under my eyes and I really in like this really weird like spot right here. I'm getting really red. 
um, not so bad over here and a little tiny bit on my chin. So it's like the, the what is it, like the T zone. So not so like, something really to worry about. I am using a cream. It seems to really help with the redness. Nothing, uh, nothing really that I'm concerned about, but it's obviously not something I'd like. Uh, we are getting to the end of my list here. The last couple of things is, oh wait, one more important thing is that I do, I am finding it harder to sleep and get comfortable. So really in the last like two weeks, I would say, I'm having problems like when I'm, when I was lying down, like say three weeks ago, I was lying down, no problem falling asleep. Now I do find it a little bit more difficult. I'm having maybe to prop a pillow um, in between my legs more so than underneath my stomach right now. Uh, like lying on my back, I can only lie on my back for pff, seconds before I get a little bit uncomfortable. I can still lie on my side, closer like side belly. That's still okay, but it's definitely not gonna last long. We did get his car seat. I will be doing a video on that, um, just like my first impressions. I did open it, it's very, it was at first very difficult to use. It is the Peg Prego something or other. It was difficult, I was, I almost took it back it was that difficult, but that's a whole other video. And the last thing is we are getting, uh, we will be switching, I'm in Lauren's nursery right now, so Lauren is going to move into our spare bedroom. Lauren will be moving uh, rooms, this will stay the nursery, it's a smaller room. So she'll get the bigger room with the bigger closet and more space and baby boy will be getting the smaller room. Unfortunately, that's probably going to be how that is probably going to stay like that for as long as we live here. They'll just have to play downstairs. We have a huge play area downstairs. This really, this room is smaller. It'll fit a bed, a dresser, everything anybody needs. It is just is a bit smaller. So. Oh, also when I was at the doctor, I wanted to show you guys this. I love getting free samples. So my doctor gave me this cool sample and I wanted to open it. It says there is up to $9 in Pampers, Ivory Snow, Bounty, Charmin, Coupons inside. Oh, look how cute that is. And it's perfect because it's for a little boy. Well, I guess it could be gender neutral, but. Oh, I guess this is a little, look how cute. So this comes with five newborn diapers, a little pack of the sensitive wipes, there's only six wipes in there, and then a book of coupons. Oh, I just dropped everything. Very cool. I love that. Probably won't use many of them. I never do, unfortunately. But I feel like these are good things to like, bring to the hospital because my hospital does provide diapers and not only remember if they did wipes not 100% but I know for sure they provide diapers so this is always good just to have a, a little pack just in case you know I don't I, when I do my what's in my hospital bag it's gonna be way different from what was in Lauren's hospital bag because I packed enough for Lauren to grow until she was at least one with hers with her delivery so I think I will be bringing five and I was in and out and if I need more Sam can obviously come home but that's again another video so that was fun, I got that. That's all I have for my 24 five day update. I will show you my belly, even though it's very tired right now, but I'll show you my belly. So I'm seeing, let's see, this is it from the front. I'm really sorry if it's dark. If it is dark, I will insert other pictures. This is it from the side. And from the other side. Getting there. No stretch marks yet to um, report. I did get a couple here with Lauren, but so every time I film one of these videos, <laughs> okay. So every time I film one of these videos, something happens with my camera. Last time the battery died. This time the card filled up. So, anyways, okay, shh, you have to be quiet, okay? So uh, Lauren has now joined us and I'd like to say thanks for everyone for watching and keeping up with all of my pregnancy updates. I don't want to. Hopefully, um, hopefully within the next couple of weeks I'll have some more exciting things happening where I can do like bi-weekly videos or something along those lines. So thanks for watching. You say. Say my baby brother's coming. A baby.